So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take an object, just a normal JSON object, and then we're going to convert it into an array three different ways. We're going to do it taking the keys, taking the values, and then show you how to, how to make a bunch of arrays off of the key and value pair. So first, let's make the object. All right, so now that we have this object here, let's go ahead and do this. Let's make a list out of the keys. And I do have GitHub um, Copilot going. So if it's asking, if it's doing stuff like this, it, you know, is trying to predict what I want. So let's go ahead and do const keys equals object dot. We'll just use that there. And then let's do a console log for the keys. And so what this should do is provide us an array of all the keys, meaning name, age, and weight. And we see that I had an error right there because I forgot the, uh, the colon there. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. So you have name, age, and weight, just like I said. But sometimes you just don't care. Maybe you already know what the keys are. You just want the values. So let's go ahead and do a make a list out of the values. So we're going to come in here and do this. And so I'm going to remove this console log here just so we already, uh, you know, don't have multiple lines we have to look for. And so we have Bernie one and 11 right here. And you can see that this is a string. This is a number, but it doesn't care. It all gets grouped together inside. But what if I want the keys and the uh, values in there? How do I do that? Is that possible? And the answer is 100%. And so we're going to go ahead and make a list out of the keys and values. So we're going to do const key and value object entries, and then dog uh, once again. And you don't have to use these semicolons at the end. I don't know if my Visual Studio Code just puts them on there or if I'm just unknowingly type them because I haven't had my coffee for the day. So we're gonna console log key and value out. And now what we should get is an array, but then we should get an array inside of them containing name, Bernie, uh, age one, weight 11. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And you see that we do get an array. Let me move this up here. And then we get the name Bernie is the first array. The second one is age and one and weight and 11. So these are some of the ways that you could take an object that you have and then put it into an array and do what you want to with it. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe. I love doing this and I'll see y'all in the next video.